All right, everybody, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll kind of give you an idea of how we choose to put mineral out, how we choose to put deer scent out and make licking uh, branches, things like that, and how I differentiate where I'm going to put each one and how I spread them out. So stick around to the end for that kind of stuff. And it's too big, so I'm going to try to shoot it in half. I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, hold up. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's a couple. Dude, that's right where we had them gobblers on camera. Everything is content. Everything is content. Yeah, baby, baby. Who? Recording? Are you live? I'm live, bro. What you got going? I just want to tell the people how lazy we are. What do you mean, how lazy we are? What about how lazy we are? They're July and we're just now getting our turkey hunting stuff out of the woods. I don't know what you're talking about, bad hunters. I this, killed a turkey right here. This tree started to grow around our blind. Dude, that's called camouflage. Oh, what's up, everybody? All right, we're out here at our deer leases. I don't think we've even killed a deer here in like three years. When was the last deer we killed here? All right, so we got some work to do, but everything is content. I need to keep making videos. You guys are killing me in the comments on my... Uh, I haven't made a YouTube video in a couple of months besides maybe some fish and stuff. And you guys are killing my comments. You're like, still waiting on videos. So everything is content and I will start making uh, vlogs of everything we do. Cause me and Joey, multiple days a week, we're either working on hunting stuff or fishing stuff. I just haven't been filming it. So today we're out at our lease. Um, I have, like I said, I haven't killed a deer here in two years, but we have several things we're gonna do today. We're gonna get some bait out. We're gonna get some salt out. I say bait, really it's more like minerals and corn just for in front of the cameras. We're also gonna work on some, uh, oh, we forgot rope. We're gonna work on some licking branches and things like that. And I'll kind of tell you guys the difference in where I put, are the wasps coming out? I don't know, I bet they are. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the difference in where I choose to put a licking branch versus where I choose to use bait because I don't use them in the same places like I'm not gonna have a licking branch and a salt block in front of the same camera it's just not gonna happen and I'll tell you guys why and I'll kind of explain that stuff so first though we're gonna pull out some of our turkey blinds because it's almost July what if they're in there they're real mad um it's almost July and we haven't pulled our turkey blinds out yet so we're pulling blinds today we're changing batteries and cameras we are gonna weed eat some of the grass down in front of cameras and uh, gonna get some minerals out and stuff like that. We need to start taking an inventory of our bucks and we haven't done that yet. So we just have a lot of work to do. Today is day one of our 2022 deer prep. Let's go. Oh my God. Bro, there is a spider. There's at least two and a half inches wide. Hold on, I wanna come see. It's one of those like wolf spiders, is that what that is? Is it alive? Yeah, it's huge. Where? On your chair. On the chair? Come over here. Oh! What? <laughs> uh, what? That's huge. Bruh. Bro, zoom in on his things. Bro! <laughs> Dude! That is insane! Get out of here! Ah! <laughs> Full of this mouse turds. It is not a good feeling to find. Oh my gosh! Look how big this coon poop is! Oh my love! That is huge. Bruh! Bruh! I think that's a person's poop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, it's one snappy motion. One. Two, we're gonna lift this way. One, two, three. Just like that. Tog in the next week or two, he'll get it done. Ooh. You see us? Yeah, just the way that I keep setting up the camera, it's like too low. Well, it's too bright too. It's too bright, I can't even see. All right, this is a great spot for our cameras. However, uh, the farmer hasn't, or the landowner, has not bush hogged the grass road yet, so this stuff is like taller than the windshield of the truck. This tree right here used to be perfect, but I don't think I have a strap long enough for the tree. 
to actually put the camera on, but I'm gonna do some weed eating. We're gonna knock some stuff down and uh, Joey's drove over a bunch of it. We're gonna try to put a camera in this tree. Oh my, Joey's making me nervous. We wanna put a camera in this tree, but it's too thick. However, a little bit higher in the tree looks good. So I think we're gonna climb up there and see what we can do. Try to get a stick or something to put behind it, angle it down and um, up. Still pretty thick. It, yeah. barely see you. What about out here? Yeah, you're like center of the camera right there. Wait. Yeah, I see I see the top of your hand and I see the camera still. Okay, so the top of my hand is still, tell me when my hand is no longer in view. The top of your head is at the top of the screen now. That's perfect. I'd say that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, right I here. think so. I'm gonna bake right here between us and the camera. Yo, it's hot. Yeah. All right, so something that me and Joey, the last two years, we didn't bait, mineral licks, salt, nothing like that. We used Texas Rays hunting products. We made uh, mock scrapes. We made licking branches, but we did not bait the last two years. The first year, we did no bait. We both killed the biggest deers of our lives. Last year, neither of us killed a buck, but not because of lack of solid deer, just lack of opportunity at those deer, right? So we're like 50-50 for baiting and not baiting, but this year we're gonna bait. At least for the next month, I wanna inventory our deer. We don't seem to have any shooters yet. And I just can't think, I have trouble believing that there's not shooters out here. So I think we're gonna bait and try to find those big bucks. What are you gonna put right here, corn? corn right here. Yeah, boy, dump that corn. Now you cut the middle of the bag open, so go ahead and dump it out. Hold on, I'm putting my knife away. It's a sharp bladed weapon. Oh, thank you. The bed of my truck needed all this corn. How much corn do you want here? I would dump a whole bag. A whole bag? I'd dump a whole bag. We got two. That's a lot. We got two blocks and three bags of corn still. I don't know where else I plan on baiting. Okay. I just format that one, right? All right, now, why are we putting corn here? I don't know who the professional is. Jeff Sturgis, though, Jeff Sturgis, said that somebody smarter than him once told him don't put your salt or mineral minerals by water according to the person that told jeff sturgis this the deer will eat the salt drink water eat the salt drink water and then they won't eat the foods that are nutritious to them thus affecting their diet i don't know if that's true but there's a giant creek right here so that's why we're dumping corn here and we're not gonna do anything else here in terms of licking branches, mock scrapes, yet. In, oh, closer to season, this tree right here, I mean, look at these perfect branches. This tree, we will make a licking branch uh, later in season. Joey sometimes sits in this ladder stand. He killed two coyotes from it last year with a bow. Oh, I haven't posted those videos. Kind of graphic. They are kind of graphic. So, this is our creek. And it, oh my goodness. I think we're done at the back of this lease. We're gonna head up about 200 yards to the next spot and uh, probably put a mineral block there, but let's get out of here. 
the skeeters are killing me. Let's weed eat this just a tad and we'll put a block here and try to shoot it. All right, we got this giant block. It's, it's honestly just too big. Like, this thing is too big. I bet it weighs 40 or 50 pounds and it's too big. So I'm gonna try to shoot it in half. I don't know what else to do with it. I don't know how else to try to break it. Center. Bro, it did nothing almost. Did absolutely nothing to it. Did you even record? You hit it, you were recording I thought. No. All right, I'm gonna aim at the center then. Bro, it does nothing. Bro, salt is, salt is, salt is what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, there we go. Just broke it in two like it was nothing. Bro, I broke the rock! I did, look. Yeah, I'll just leave half of it here. Let me get my Rocco destruction put back. This is some old Spy Point Solar W's that we still run. And you never have to put batteries in them. They're amazing. I bet I've put, I bet I've put less than three sets of batteries in these solars in three years. The only thing that really kills the batteries really bad in those solars is if, is if you run video all the time. Also, I wanna show you something. This is the front of Joey's truck. He, uh, driving through the grass, this is all grass seed. It's all grass seed, look at that, that's crazy. We could bag this up and sell it at a landscape company. All right. Let me see what it looks like up here. I would say at least bring a bag of corn right here. Yeah. Hey, Joey, there's a deer right there. Oh, hello. Can you see what it is? No. I was just about to put the good camera away, but uh, as you can see, we have a platform out here. We actually, we rarely hunt on that. However, the biggest deer we've ever had on camera, the biggest deer we've ever hunted was only 10 yards from it one time. Oh. But uh, we have a camera right here. This is the very, we actually leased this from one guy, leased this from another guy. So we're gonna put some corn right here on the edge of this field. Camera right here, driveway and truck right here. I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put this camera away and run the GoPro. We have some hiking to do. We got to get back into the bushes. Turning this camera off. Got the GoPro. Let's get on it. I'm really sick, by the way. I feel horrible. Let's go. I could just tie it to it. No, I was oh. Try to get through both of them, maybe. So nothing to pull it off. Dang. 
Look at that little guy. Got our hanging salt block. I don't want to touch the poison ivy. You got your little knife? Yeah. Cut that poison ivy at the base so it will dry up next time we're out here. All right. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. Even just me being in this proximity to it, I'm probably going to get poison ivy. There's so many daddy long legs. I don't know if this is going to go around this. Might not. My early. The salt wheel is hung and this camera is getting hung. That's a cell camera. We have a, uh, we have a tree stand right there. We had a rub line out here earlier this year. So likely what we will do, we will likely not bait this. Um, probably by next month, we probably will not bait this and we'll probably turn this into a licking branch or we'll turn it into a, uh, a rub or a scrape or something. I don't know. But we had a rub and a scrape line out here. The problem is some jack wagon hunts up there about a hundred yards. I think he kind of ruins it for us. I think he ruins the deer pattern. When I shot burnt chicken nugget, I was somewhere up this hill and he was somewhere up this hill and he died right out here. Ooh. Dude, these little, these little plants right here, they stick you on the leg and make you itchy. Do you still have Glenn's number? Who? Glenn. Yeah. He's in my phone as Glenn Bushaw guy. Call him up. Oh. Well, I didn't say fall down the hill. I said carry it down the hill. <sighs> this big tree fell across our path. That's a strong bag. Put on the bottom corner and grab this corner and we'll snap it this way one two three <laughs> kind of crazy Okay, so it's kind of jumping around. We kind of uh, just went to each spot that we had time for today. Joey's got to work in a little bit, so we need to hurry up, get out of here, and drive home. But I thought this would be a good example. So we have a road right here. Now, this is the driveway for the house for the landowner. However, it's about, I don't know, it's almost a mile long from the front of his property to the back of his property. So how do I decide where I'm going to put a licking branch versus mineral versus maybe some corn? First off, I never put mineral and a licking branch in the same place. 
When it gets close to season, if we start finding licking branches and maybe some rubs like in September, I'm not gonna bait in those areas. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense to put bait out where deer are already making natural uh, like lines of travel. But I might separate them by like 50 to 100 yards. So let's imagine this road is our deer trail, right? Let's imagine there is a solid line of travel for approximately 200 yards. Or let's say, um, let's say we have a blind or a stand like every 200 yards right here. I might have a licking branch and then about 100 yards down on the other side of that blind or that tree stand, I might put some mineral and a camera. Now, in Indiana, you cannot bait, you cannot have salt out, you can't do anything like that within 10 days of hunting season. So by about September 20th, you have to pull everything out. However, imagine if we have a licking branch and then like 50 to 100 yards down, we have a salt block and then 50 to 100 yards down, we have another licking branch. All that mineral and bait is gonna do is help reinforce that line of travel. And then come hunting season, when I have to pull that mineral out, we still have a licking branch here and maybe a licking branch about 150 yards down. And obviously our blinds are either gonna be at each licking branch or in between them. So that's how I choose to kind of separate my stuff out. Sometimes I will put mineral, you know, within 50 yards of a licking branch just for the purposes of inventorying, but if you ever listen to certain deer behavior biologists, those big bucks don't like pressure. And where me and Joey have typically found our biggest bucks is not where we get a lot of pictures of does. So burnt chicken nugget, biggest deer I've ever killed was living right here in this super thick nasty stuff. I'll, I, I could probably turn it. You can see how dark it is in here. This is some thick nasty stuff. And it's not a super thick high canopy, but there's multiple layers of canopy here. There's undergrowth coming up because they bush hogged this and, and lumbered it like, they probably timbered this about 10 to 15 years ago. What that does is that kind of eliminates the mid range and the upper canopy. Well, over the last 10 to 15 years, the briars and the honeysuckle have taken over this area. But as the upper canopy starts to grow back, it kind of reduces that, um, the honeysuckle and the briars. So when we first started hunting here about three to four years ago, this was unwalkable. At least now you can walk it. So there's multiple layers of canopy here. We have a lot of undergrowth, a lot of stuff shooting up. There's also a thick canopy. So it's pretty dark in here. It's pretty isolated. And if I had to guess, if we have any shooter bucks on this property, they're gonna be in here. This is probably a 30 to 40 acre block. And we probably will not go in there until either A, we're ready to hunt or B, if we just put a cell camera in there. Now, up into here though, where it's more clear, the bucks will travel that, especially at night, when they, when they kind of break out of their 100 yard circle, 10 acre circle, whatever it is that you've ever heard that a buck likes to maintain. Burnt chicken nugget, we didn't know that deer existed until we pushed him out of here and we had him on a camera up here and he actually left the property for about a week and then ended up coming back and then I killed him. In areas where I think a big buck is gonna be maintaining, like a habitat and a home, I'm not gonna put out mineral, I'm not gonna put out salt, I'm not gonna put out corn, cause I don't wanna attract all the does up into his house. Like why would I just invite a house party up into this old grumpy buck's territory and push him out? So I will have areas that we don't touch. Areas where the does and babies live are typically gonna be maybe a little bit more open, over by water, fields, things like that. And that is where we will put a lot of these cameras over bait and salt. And we'll get bucks who will travel that when they break out of their zone. And a lot of times it'll be in a bachelor group. I will never put minerals right next to a licking branch and vice versa. A lot of times you'll find the licking branches kind of make their own. Find the licking branch, find the scrape on the ground and just put a camera over it. Maybe freshen it up with something like Texas Ray's hunting products preorbital scent or curiosity scent that's what we uh, that's what we use today but that's it for today that's it for today i'm gonna uh i need you to comment below i need you to comment below if you like these deer vlogs our deer season preparation vlogs let us know if this is something you want to see otherwise i'll get back to my fishing videos tomorrow i'll be out on the water for now i gotta change because my undies are sweaty peace